Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Rosie here. So I wanted to take a break today. I'm putting in some eye drops. I wanted to take a break today from studying a little bit. Um, I was reading um, about Chinese religions today for my class. And, oh, my head is hurting. So I just kind of want to take a break, get away. Just put in some eye drops from the Dollar Tree. My eyes have been really dry lately. Uh, especially when, like, you're doing your makeup. Like, your eyes tend to get dried out. So, if you guys have that problem, try to, um, just re-moisten your eyes with some eye drops. Alright, and put that up, put my wipes up. So I just wiped my face with my poreless refining <clears throat> wipes. I got these for like three bucks. It was a double pack. Um, and they're by Global Beauty Care. And I got it like at a local discount store, but you could probably find these at like Burlington and uh, Marshall's kind of stores. And they're good for six months after you open them. So I don't know. What pomade I want to do today for my brows. I might just go on with my Mellow Cosmetics. You guys know I have a collab with them. I'll put my link down below. <clears throat> Trying to find my other brush. Um, So my Morphe eyebrow brush. It's kind of thin. And I like a wider raw outer brush to do my eyebrows this is that m158 so depending on my mood sometimes i'll use that one but <clears throat> i prefer to use my sephora brush <clears throat> which you guys see me using all the time it's the sephora pro brow precision brush the number 20. <clears throat> great i got a frog in my throat now <clears throat> Yeah, so I just want to play with some makeup today um, and just kind of get away for, for a little while from my textbook. I had to do another homework for my other class. So, yeah, I survived midterms. So, thank you to those of you who keep me in your prayers. I definitely survived my midterms and got some nice grades. My professors have actually been um, putting up the grades already for a lot of the work that we've done throughout the semester. And we kind of been waiting on those grades. They hadn't um, put them in yet. So I was pretty happy about that. If you guys haven't seen my Dollar Tree haul video from this past weekend, go check that out. Yes, I know. I'm not supposed to be out. <clears throat> Doctor's orders, but I really needed to stock up on some soap and some stuff. Aluminum trays for the kitchen. Things like that. And I totally missed the whole bag. Um, yesterday when I was sitting in the living room actually working on my reefs, um, you guys know I'm making those mesh reefs from Dollar Tree to sell. <clears throat> I've already sold a bunch, so yay! Happy about that. Um, I found another bag from Dollar Tree and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. And so it wasn't that much in there. Um, it was just three bottles of pine saw, a washi tape, and a nail polish, which I'll show you guys what I got. So you guys saw I bought that big pack of 
nail polishes. So probably after I finish filming this video, I'm probably going to work on that. I'm doing my nails. My mom's been on my ass to uh, dye my hair. I haven't done it. I just don't have time. I can't sit around and wait around 45 minutes for the thing to set. Like, I am a busy woman. <laughs> I am super busy. I have tons of homework. Tons of stuff to study. I'm making mesh reefs to sell. Like, no, I don't have time to sit there and wait 45 minutes for the things to set. And then I gotta get up and go wash it out and do all of that. Yeah, don't have time for that. All right, so I used the Mellow Cosmetics Brow Pomade in Auburn. You guys have seen me use that before. So I think today I'm going to use my um, Lorella palette. Uh, my sweetheart palette. That my friend Lexi gave me. Um, Because there are some like fallish colors that I can use. In that palette. So I'm going in with my Morphe. Um, C225 concealer. So, there are some fall colors in there that I want to try. They're kind of like purplish colors. All right. And then I'm going to use my e.l.f. Camel Concealer 16 Hour Light Sand. Let me both of those out for just one second. Sorry if you guys can hear my dog's name, my neighbor's dog. I know that could be kind of annoying. So I'm going out with my M224 brush. I know you guys always see me use my Vasanti brush. But I'm going to give it a break today. And I'm just going to use that to clean up my brows. And I'm going in with that e.l.f. light sand color underneath my brow. So, you guys know that YouTube, um, they blocked some of my videos because of the music, which is why I'm not playing the music right now. But if you guys know how to do the YouTube music along with the video, please let me know. Comment below. Let me know how to do that because I hate doing my makeup and not having music on. It just, I just feel like I have to talk more and sometimes it can be distracting. Like a little distracting. For my 
a stunty brush now if I go find them. There you go. Yeah, I keep getting these um YouTube messages telling me like, oh, like your videos being blocked, blah blah blah. You have to use the YouTube music. So I did download the YouTube music app, but I don't know. I don't want to film with it playing in the background and then my video get muted. So I said, let me just not play any music at all. So today I washed my hair and I decided to put that Michelangelo curling cream that I bought a couple of weeks ago from Ulta. It was like a yellow bottle. So that's what I have in my hair today. If you're wondering what I use to make my hair curly today, yep. It's still kind of wet. It hasn't really dried down all the way. Alright, so now I'm going in with that Morphe concealer up top. So if it's your first time here, welcome. Um, I'm not a makeup artist. I say this in all of my videos. I am not a makeup artist. I am just a scrapbooker that enjoys blending colors and playing in makeup. So if you're wondering, I blend the two of those. I start off with the Morphe, um, and then I kind of end up blending whatever's left from the e.l.f. color. idea who the door was barking at but the dog's barking on somebody all right all right i think those eyebrows look pretty good i'm gonna go on with my sweetheart lorella palette um you guys saw my friend gave me this palette uh, a couple of months ago i think i've done maybe like two makeup looks with it um, I used it for Valentine's Day, which is my page picture up top and um, on my YouTube page. And I did do probably like one or two other looks with it. Um, so I think today I want to kind of go into these two right here. They look pretty fallish. So yeah, I think those are the two I want to work with. And it's passion on top, and the one underneath it is all of mine. Now, as a base color, um, I'm gonna try and use this cutie, 
and be mine kind of like a little combo of the two yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do today all right so let me just look for a nice clean brush and we can get started So, you guys have probably seen me use this brush before, and it's the SL, I never know how to pronounce it properly, but I started following them on Instagram. It's SL Miss Glam, and the number on the brush is SS57. So, I was looking at these brushes online, actually this morning, and I'm thinking of purchasing their face brushes because I have tons of eye brushes um so yeah so I I was thinking of purchasing their face brushes so I'm just gonna go in so I'm gonna put my brush into both of these and kind of mix them a little to start my base So you got, kind of get a little bit of the pink and a little bit of like the gray purplish, kind of like a combination of the two. Yeah, I have tons of eye brushes, so I kind of want to try and get some more uh, face brushes. Alright, I think I like the way that that's looking. So yeah, so I'm just kind of digging right into the purple and the pink. Just a little combination of the two. Swirl, swirl, swirl. My hands, you guys, are so sore. My arms from working on the mesh reefs. But they came out so pretty. I have about six or seven done already. And they're actually already sold. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm going to put down the palette for just one minute. I'm going to go back to that Morphe brush that I was using. And I'm going to grab my e.l.f. concealer again. I'm going to cut my crease. Now you guys again. I am not a makeup artist, so please don't go off on the fact that it's not a perfectly cut crease. Alright, I need to grab my other mirror because I feel like 
this mirror. I'm kind of like too far away from it. I have been using some other stuff to cut my crease. But I wanted to try this and see how it would work out for me. I've tried different techniques for cutting my crease. So, yeah. I looked just almost about perfect right all right let's go and do the other one So you pretty much just want to get as close to a perfect half moon, half circle as you possibly can. Alright. I think that looks pretty good too. Yeah, I think the consistency of this concealer is probably better than other things I have been using. So yeah, I think that actually worked out a lot better. Alright, so I'm going to grab some translucent powder. Um, it's the NYX finishing powder and I'm just gonna pat that down a little bit not too much just a little tiny bit Again, I apologize if you hear the ceiling fan, and that's kind of annoying. All right. Okay. I think we are ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my palette, and I'm going to use the same brush. I'm not going to switch brushes, Um, and I'm going to go in with this All Mine color right there. It's looking kind of hot pinkish, not really like a burgundy color that I thought it was going to look like, but that's okay. Oh yeah, actually the swatch that way too, that was like a burgundy, just not. Hmm. 
Alright. That's okay. I'm just gonna pack that right in on my lower lid. Mm -hmm. I actually like the way that looks. I thought I was going to be a little more burgundy-ish, um, just because in the pan it looks a little burgundy-ish, but it actually isn't. It's kind of like a really dark pink, sort of. Okay, well, I guess we're ending up with a pinky kind of look today. Okay, that's enough of that. So I'm going to grab a different brush. I'm going to grab a shader brush. I have to wash my brushes again and I'm gonna go into that passion purpley color and try and put that right in my crease Okay, I like the way that's looking. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Now I am going to grab one of my smaller brushes. This is my Lottie London brush. I usually do my little um highlight up here, but I'm going to use it for my shimmer. So I'm going to spray my brush. I'm gonna spray my brush and I'm gonna go in with this date night glitter right there it's a little darker than usual
So I started with a cut crease and then I took this in a whole different direction, you guys. Just end up where you end up. However you end up. bring that color out a little more into my crease just because I don't really have like the lid the wide lid that looks okay might not be exactly what I was going for but it looks okay I hate that why does my left eye always do that like it never looks how I want it to look on the left side but then once I start doing the right like the shimmer does exactly what I wanted to do like I hate that all right I should have just left it out of cup crease and called it a day. But it is what it is. So I'm gonna bring this out a little bit. Get that brush again. I'm gonna go back with that all mine. Try and blend it out a little bit. Okay. 
It looks better up close than it does on camera. the same Lottie brush and uh, there's another purple on here called kiss me and I'm gonna go right underneath my eye with that one Feeling super perfectly for sure. Okay. I'm definitely getting that purple that I wanted though. Okay. Wipe off some of that crazy excess. So if you love purple, this is definitely a cute look for you. I'm gonna grab a liquid liner. Let me just double check, make sure I don't have one over here. No, I don't. So the other day I separated all my liquid liners out. Yeah, that was a nice bright idea, right? To do that. I'm not gonna do a mix of purple eyeliner. I'm sorry, not a liquid liner, a mechanical eyeliner. Um, and I'm just gonna go in with a blue color. It's kind of like a metallic blue liner. Um, it's in the color Love, and it's by N Y X. I actually have to clean this mirror. some lashes on and I'll be right back all right you guys so I just put on some lashes <clears throat> and today I decided to put on some etiquette lashes by Aisha you guys can find her on Facebook or on Instagram her brand is called etiquette lashes by Aisha these are magnetic lashes so you don't like messing around with glue um, it comes with a black liner. Her lashes come in the case like this. And it actually brings the tool. And her case looks like this. Etiquette Lashes by Aisha. And I forgot which ones these are. But if you guys look at one of my older videos. I actually, um, when I first bought them from her. I did a video for her and I only got two pairs and this is one of the two pairs. This is the second pair that I hadn't opened yet. So go check out that video. I will try and link it to this one so you guys can go check it out. But you can find her on Instagram and Facebook. Okay. Um, so today... I think I'm going to try and do my Stay Matte Rimmel London Foundation just because um, I'm trying to use up some of these older foundations that I was trying to purge. And this one kind of still look like it has some in it. I'm going to try and squeeze it out 
and see what happens. It still smells pretty okay. It's kind of like a mousse. So it is a little thicker for it to come out of the packaging. Doesn't have any smell. So I squeeze some of that onto my hand. It kind of looks like poop. And I'm just going to grab a foundation brush. Sorry, you guys, but I moved everything in my room around. And I need to move the brushes closer to me so I'm able to reach them. So I'm just going to tap that in and start working that into my skin. I didn't put any primer on. This is a matte um foundation so it is pretty thick and the coverage is pretty good and this is one of the few foundations that i don't often use a primer with because i just love the consistency of it like it's a nice thick mousse literally the packaging says mousse on it. And it's one of those types of foundations that it's easier for you to use the brush to move it around and get it exactly where you want it. And then just follow back with a sponge just to get the stripes out that your brush may have left behind and you really just need a little bit um because the formula is so thick and it does have such a great consistency to it So if you guys don't like like a thicker foundation that has like thicker fuller co coverage like this, you like lighter foundations, then this might not be um a foundation that you would like just because it is thick. Kind of like frosting. Yeah. But I love it because the coverage is amazing. I just messed that up. Good job. I'll fix that in a minute. So this is like a really cute look for Halloween. Nice witchy purpley look All right. great coverage you guys absolutely great coverage on there all right, so I'm just going to wipe this off my hand so I don't accidentally get it on anything else. All right, that's off. I'm going to grab my contour palette and my blush palette. 
by Beauty Treats. I've been using these a lot lately. And I'm grabbing my e.l.f. contour brush. And I'm going to go right into this beige color right here. I'm going to go right down my nose with it. I'm gonna go right into my chin with it. I'm gonna go right into my forehead. Then I'm going to grab my other e.l.f. Um, sculpting face brush. I'm going to go into this tan color right here. Just kind of bring it right down, right past my eye, and into my cheek. So if you don't like the cream contour sticks, this is a great way to contour as well. And define my jaw a little bit with that. Alright, and now we're gonna go back up top a little bit. You guys don't really see me doing this with my LA Colors contour sticks. But you guys can also do it this way. I love contouring. I'm obsessed with contouring, you guys, because I have such a chubby face. <laughs> Fat face. That contouring just kind of gives me that, like, nice definition on my phone. I'm going to take my pictures. So, yeah.
Okay. A little bit of that on our nose. You already know I like that Michael Jackson nose. Hold on, let me grab the other mirror. Find it. Alright, I think that looks like how I want it to look. Just a little awkward on camera. I think that looks good. I want it to look. All right, rock and roll. Alright, I'm gonna put that down and dig into our blush palette. So there is a blush that kind of looks a little purpley pink, which is these two on the end. On camera, it doesn't really look that way. On camera, this looks actually very light, but it's not. It's kind of like a purpley pink, sort of like the base color I used on the eyeshadow. So I'm actually going to mix these two together. the other color there is fallout we already know I'm gonna do another like brown neutral look because everybody seems to like that I'm so happy you guys I actually found a shirt to go with my bag that I got from my friend's boutique oh my god you guys like I cannot wait to put on that leopard print cheetah print whatever it's called because it's so pretty I got a shirt I got a hair clip and I got the handbag from my friend's boutique. So I'm just kind of buffing it out a little bit so it doesn't look as heavy. Uh, it looks a little more subtle. Okay, I think I like the way that looks. Okay, that's perfect palette back up there put our brush away so for my mascara i used my thrive um cosmetics it's spelled cause medics um and it's a liquid lash extension mascara grin rich black so you could check them out on instagram check out their website i actually follow them on instagram so I'll put that down and let's figure out what look we're going to do for today. Okay, you guys. So 
recently my friend Marissa sent me this Mataholics hard candy lip gloss and I haven't tried it yet and you guys know I love my violet thumb pin up pout it's like one of my favorite colors but I'm gonna try this hard candy mousse lip and see if it doesn't look really crazy on me if it looks crazy I'm taking it off um and then you guys see me use my run the world um it's kind of like a um purpley kind of color so i'm gonna line my lips with that sorry I always go too low into my mirror and I forget that you guys are there. <laughs> All right. So I know you guys have seen me use this lip liner in the past with my pen up pout mix gloss right I'm not gonna do any highlights today all right let's try this hard candy purple gloss and see where it takes us I'm scared you guys so scared So it looks like that. I put my mirror down and now oh found it. Okay. My girlfriend Lexi, she goes on business trips and she always brings stuff back for me. So she had brought this back for me from Vegas. It's a high roller mirror. I love the casino, you guys. <laughs> It'll probably be one of the first places I go besides church. Very ironic. Yes, I know. Um, when I'm able to go back outside. Alright. Ooh, I've never done a purple lip, you guys. Not like this. So I think I will dedicate this look to my friend. <laughs> she knows exactly who she is. She's always asking me for a black lip. I'm giving you a purple lip. This is a stretch for me. Cause this is not my kind of color. But I wanted to give it a go and see what it would look like. I actually don't hate it, to be honest. If I was being a witch for Christmas, um, for Christmas, for Halloween, yeah, be a witch on Christmas, right? <laughs> it was being a witch for Halloween. Yeah, for sure. This would totally work. <laughs> this is like sweet, innocent witch vibes. <laughs> All right. Well, the story is definitely on fleek. I kind of messed up my eyes a little bit. Mmm. The hard candy gloss actually has kind of like a sweet kind of taste to it. Kind of different. Mm. Alright, you guys. So, I think this is it. This is the finished look. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And I think I'm going to dedicate this one to my friend. 
I won't say her name. <laughs> she has a YouTube channel, but she, and she eats stuff on the channel, but uh, she hasn't posted any videos lately. Yeah, this is totally her. She loves purple. Yeah, this is totally work for her. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Wait, let me just hit it with some setting spray. I'm going to hit it with my NYX matte finish setting spray. Woo! All right, you guys. I'll talk to you guys in my next one. And don't forget, check the clearance aisle. Bye.